Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and today we're going to take this uh, Harbor Freight Tools uh, window defroster that you can get in the automotive section. It's like a mini heater window defroster, and we're going to turn it into something that I can warm and dry my gloves with. So, this little window defroster runs on 12 volt power. Uh, you can get them for, I think, under $20 at Harbor Freight, uh, even less if you get the coupons out of the, the newspaper. But I've already taken it apart. I'm going to just pull the top piece off here. And going through this, there's a lot of neat stuff to scrap. This has got a handle, so like you can hold it and defrost parts of your windshield. Take that handle out of there. It's a neat handle. You can use that for a different project. I'm going to throw that on the junk pile. Inside here we have a fan, a small heating element, a switch to power it all, and then an LED light. And then there's another LED light on the string here that just comes on when the heater is on. Now, I disconnected the LED light. It was on its own power loop. It had its own switch. We also had to take this switch off the out, well, I had to cut the switch right here off the outside just to get all the wiring separate. So we'll set those aside and use those for another project. Now, after you take the thing apart, you really just want to keep the guts of it. And I took the fan, as you can see here, and I put a board on the bottom of it so there's a nice base for it to sit. And then the heating element actually goes into this hole right here, which the sleeve here I glued to the fan. That way when it's uh, running, it goes right through the fan, right up to the heating element. So, insert this. So, let me scoot this over a bit here, guys. As you can see, we have basically all the wiring there. There's where the fuse goes. And the only thing that I removed was that LED setup. As I said, it was on its own power loop, so there wasn't really a problem getting rid of it. You can just delete it right off the system and everything still works. You got a little switch here that says fan or heat, so you can turn on the heater with the fan or just the fan itself. And we're going to take all of this and we're going to put it in a box. We're going to use that brick battery right there, which that's a 12 volt, I think that's a 9 amp hour brick battery. And uh, they're pretty good little batteries. It should run it for about 20 or 30 minutes, enough to dry a set of gloves. Uh, if I was uh, if I was to make this project better, I would probably go out and get a newer technology because this is just a seal lead acid battery, and it's amp hour storage. We can get like a lithium polymer or something, and make it half the size, or like my uh, drill battery, I can run it off of a drill battery or something. So, what I'm gonna do is put the battery inside the box here. See right there. As you can see, I cut a hole because we need the intake for the fan. We're going to need air to get in there. So I can set all of that all the way at the back here. And then put this tube right on the end. And then this is a uh, one and a quarter inch pipe fitting for PVC. And then I can put whatever I want on the outside of this pipe fitting. So, after we get the project done, I can either have this Y off and go to a tube, and the two tubes can go down, and you can just put them in your boots. That way you can let it run in, like, say, your tent or something, and it can dry your boots out. Or you can run it into your backpack or a bag or something and dry a shirt. Or what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to put a cardboard tube 
I'll probably get plastic, but all I have is uh, cardboard right now because it's raining and I don't want to go to the store. And put a tube inside of that, and then it can dry my glove. And then when that one's done, I can have it dry the other one. But I'll probably make some sort of Y pipe that comes off of this. That way I have two to dry the gloves or have two hoses come off of it so you can dry a pair of boots. Because, I mean, one at a time is not really going to do much for you. So let me get this laid out and we'll cut tape here and come back. I took all the guts from the heater unit and glued them down, put them on the board. I ran the power wire back so it comes out the front so we can get it to the battery up front here. Uh, I also put this metal piece right here. We can use it for two purposes, to get the tube to seal down here really well, and then to put some glue on and get it to grab the sides of the box right here and make everything a little more stable. So inside the box, you can see I got a little quarter inch piece of scrap wood on top here. And that's just going to go in there so I can keep it stable. I mean, keep it spaced out. That way I can pull the battery in and out and there won't be a problem with that. Let me just slide that in there like that. You see it fits right in. Let me get a little further up on this. There we go. And then we have the LED light here telling you that the uh, the heater is on, not just the fan. And then we have the switch. I've already notched out a piece for the switch and for this. So I'm going to shoot a couple of beads of glue in here and glue all this down, put the top on it, and then we can uh, get to gluing on the front piece and testing it out. Now that I have the unit slid in here, I have a few pieces I need to glue in. I already glued this plate in up top here. I also shortened the wires and put connectors on the ends, marking this one as the negative and the positive. And I'm just going to glue this in. that in right there. So we have this whole little channel right there that the uh, heat can come out of. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this piece in right here. Let me see if I can get the camera low enough. But it's just big enough that uh, the coils fit right around it. So I'm going to hit this with my hot glue gun. Get that set up and tacked on before it cools. Now, I didn't get the unit in here straight, so this is just a little bit crooked, but that's fine. I just gotta hold that there until the glue dries. Next, I'm going to find something to prop in between here and put a little bit more glue in there. Uh, what do I have lying around here? I'll just cut a small piece of glue stick and glue the glue stick in there. Probably a more elegant way to do this, but this was sitting on the table.
push that back there a little bit. Put the rest of the stick in the gun. Just let that sit for a second and dry and harden up. It's always good to over glue it, I guess, especially with hot glue. You can always pop it off. But if you over glue it, it's not too much of a problem. You know, this hot glue peels off like that really easy. All right, I'm going to stop the tape here and come back when I got this glued all the way up and we'll test the machine. Well, I took it out back and I put a coat of paint on it before I did that. I put this piece of cardboard right here. It makes this a little more secure. Fixed it with some glue. Doesn't look the greatest, but we'll come back to this project and probably build it up uh, as we need it. So now we have all, uh, all that hooked up. Flip it up on its side like this. I raise my camera up here. There we go. And then I still need to make it to the hardware store, but what I did is I took this paper towel roll and a couple of smaller cylinders here, and that'll fit in right there. Let's see if I can scoot this back a little bit more. There we go. And we can take our gloves here, put them right on the end of the uh, tubes. There we go. Like so. And then we just turn on the heat. And you can see down here are the little lights on so you can tell that there's heat. I will just let that go and uh, have some nice toasty gloves. As I said, I want to get a tube for the end of here, so I can just have a, like a, a Y splitter and then two tubes that come down that you can stick in your boots. That way you can dry out your boots as well. But this should dry the gloves out, like if they were kind of soaked, you wring them out. It should dry them out in about a half an hour. Or I think I can feel the hot air coming off of them. Kind of coming out of them. Well, what's really cool about this is it's more than just a glove heater. I mean, you can cool, you, know, you can uh, dry your boots with it. You can, uh, you know, hook it up to a paper sack or something and put a couple of shirts in there to dry those out if they're not too uh, too wet. And uh, on top of that, if I pull this off the end here, it's still a portable heater. A nice warm air coming out of there. See all that air coming out of there? But there you have it guys. A pretty simple hack, pretty cheap hack. Um, all the parts are easily obtainable. And if you want to make one, I highly suggest it because this will be great for camping or in the winter. I'm personally going to take this on the e-bike trip that I'm planning, which is the GoFundMe e-bike trip you can check it out at gofundme.com forward slash ca e-bike trip and if you want to make a donation it funds my channel it funds my bicycle trip that i'm trying to do and if you like my channel please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like the video and until next time go out build stuff make things with your hands and have fun